Hello, I'm Hassan Hamada, co-founder and co-president of Vault. Today we're going to go over guesstimation exercises. So who uses guesstimation exercises? Well, sometimes they're used in finance interviews, but predominantly they're used in management consulting interviews. Hello, Zach. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. What I want to focus on today is I want to sort of ask you an estimation exercise. Get a sense of how you think, okay? Okay. All right. The question I have I want you to answer for me is how much is spent on haircuts in the U.S. every year? So what is the interviewer looking for in asking that question? Well, the first thing to keep in mind is that the interviewer does not necessarily want an actual answer or expect a correct answer. The real goal is to see how you think in arriving at that answer. Think out loud. The only way the interviewer can know your thought process is to actually talk through the answer. What I'm going to do while I calculate this is I'm going to get the sample size of how many people are in America and then take out the people that don't get haircuts. In this case, Zach did the right thing. He started off by just sort of rough, with a rough estimate of the size of the market. Next thing to determine is the price of a haircut. Try to use nice, simple numbers. Let's say men spend $20 on a haircut and women spend $40 on a haircut. Starting with $20 is a lot easier to work with than $23. Anything else that might adjust your number? Um, yeah, if they were, you know, if you consider all the extra products or tax and tip that people, you know, give someone who cuts their hair, but that wasn't part of the question. It's also good to point out maybe complications that you did not factor in your calculation for simplicity. Finally, at the very end, it's good to do some kind of gut check to see if your answer might be in the ballpark of being correct. Okay, and what do you have? Fifty trillion four hundred billion dollars per year spent on haircuts. Most market sizing questions, like the haircut question, are probably going to be measured in the billions. Most markets in the U.S. are in the billions of dollars a year. How much is spent on haircuts in the U.S. every year? Twenty billion sounds about right. That's probably about how much people spend on haircuts. Don't necessarily just blurt out an answer or an estimate. Oh, I, I can do this problem. Um, can you hand me that calculator over there? <laughs> Asking for the interviewer's calculator or even pulling out your own right away not necessarily the best way to go. What are you doing? I'm gonna Google it. It's, you can find out real easy. It's just the internet. Obviously, Googling the answer is not what the interviewer is expecting. So how much time should you spend arriving at your answer? Most guesstimates are designed to be answered within, say, two to five minutes. If you're starting to get into the 10 minute range, not only are you eating up your entire interview, but you really are taking too long. Try again, Zach. Okay. The question again is, how much money is spent each year in the US on haircuts? Well, the beginning population is going to be 300 million, and then you're going to subtract 50 million for people that can't get haircuts, the bald people, the very old, the very young. Great. Next, you're gonna break it down into segments, men and women. Let's start with the men. Men get haircuts more often per year, probably about 10 times per year. And each time they'd pay $20 per haircut. So that'll give you $200 in a segment of 125 million because we're dividing men and women into 50% of the 250 million. Correct. For women, they probably get their haircut less often, probably about five times per year. Mm -hmm. But they're paying more. They're paying about $80 per haircut, which means each woman spends about $400 per year on a haircut times the target segment of 125 million would give you 50 billion for the women. And if you take the $200 that the men are spending times the 125 million, yep. that's 25 billion. So altogether, $75 billion on haircuts per year. Great, good job. For more information on case interviews and guesstimates, please see vault.com.